Howdy everybody, Big Faye Plus, and welcome to my Black Friday special of Dungeons Deep. You're thinking, why is this a Black Friday special? Because it's Black Friday, people lose their minds trying to find deals, you know. This would fit perfectly. Anyway, let's go ahead and play there. Black Friday, uh, the <laughs> Dungeons Deep works by either swiping with the mouse or using the arrow keys. And basically, it's just an endless, <coughs> endless uh, game. Just basically, see how far you can get and how high your score can get. Um, but uh, I actually played this game already, and it's, it's an interesting game. And the way it works, it basically fits into the whole Black Friday thing of uh, people mobbing stores, fighting and maiming and killing each other, all for that nice deal that ain't worth diddly freaking squat. Basically, you just have to avoid these skeletons. Oops. And get to the exit. Now, if you die, you get sent back five floors. Come on. And see, it gets a little harder. Starts with one skeleton, then you get two. Come on. At first, they don't move until you move. But then, oh wait, nope, nope. Now they're moving. Aha! Got you, stupid face. Ah! Dang it! See, I'm giving myself basically four lives to do this because you you can die an infinite number of times until basically you're stuck down back to level one. I've I've done that before. It's, it's not a bad game. It's very interesting. It's just, uh... Oh! Thankfully, you're... Dang! Frag it! Oh, that's uh, one line. That's two lives there, actually. I want to try and get to at least show off level 20! Because that's the last time I actually, uh... That's, like, the highest level I've gotten. It's, like, I think actually it's level 30, I think. Oh, trust me, it gets far harder than this. I think that should just play for 15 minutes, but then again... I should just focus on game level 20. <laughs> but yes, we all know Black Friday. It's that time of the year where people... <sighs> run through stores, maiming and killing each other. For a useless piece of plastic. For them, themselves, fan member, or kids. Especially something that they even want to play with. Or they'll end up taking back because, well, <laughs> reasons! <sighs> ah! Dang it! <sighs> I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I screwed up there. But every year we have this nice little thing called the Black Friday Death Count. Where. It basically counts how many people were maimed, injured, or killed during the horrible holiday known as Black Friday. I call it a holiday. It's it's not really a holiday. It's just horrible. Horrible and stupid. And I don't even know why people act this way. No other country in the fracking world acts the way we do on Black Friday. We lose our collective minds. I mean, not me. I mean, I, I tend to shy away from it. I'm usually having to work it, so... Oh, here's the bigger floors. Don't worry, they get even bigger. <laughs> and now I got three skeletons to deal with. But I haven't. We are the only country in the world that loses our. Did I screw up the recording? No, good. Sorry, I had to check that. But we are the only country in the world who loses our minds in such a way. We 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 lose our crap. We, we bust through locked doors. We fight each other over $2 toaster ovens. I'm not interested in that treasure. Nope, I'm interested in survival and longevity. But it, every year we see tons and tons of videos on YouTube of people mobbing and maiming and killing each other. All 
for that almighty deal. And it's just, it makes me sad. That, that I will hear stories every year of little old grannies punching kids in the foot because they got an item they want. You know, st stepping on little kids. Stepping over people who are having heart attacks in the dang aisles because, oh, this person's life is not worth my deal. I have to, I have to go and get my deal first. I don't care if this person's dying. And it just, it makes me sad for humanity. It does. It makes me sad for humanity. That we act in such a way. And we're like this greedy adventurer who has no weapon. But chooses to go ahead and go into a deep dungeon. Looking for treasure. Even though he has no way... Ooh, that was almost stupid. Of uh, fighting these skeletons. He just has he has no way to do it. He, he's literally relying on just his agility. Yep, here comes the bigger floors. Yep. And see, now there's four. Four Bojangles that wish to... Oh, no. It's cause time. It's cause for timing here. Oh! Ah! Ha ha! Got your mess and left, ha! Huh? Get that? But every year we we have it. We have stories of people dying or maiming or killing each other for 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 a deal. And it's like why? Is that Xbox One X really worth punching someone in the face? Is that $200 computer or TV really worth stabbing someone over? And someone would say, yes, it's a good deal. And I would say, you're an imbecile. And it really does make me want to go out and just slap humanity as a whole. Just walk out and just slap everybody in one fell swing. Just slap you in the face. Some people say, oh, you don't need that kind of bounce. I don't care. Some people need to be slapped in the face. Come on. No! Oh, I can't believe I made it past that! Whew! Okay, I'm actually farther than I've ever been. This is good. This this is this is progress here. This is this is who Ha! Ah you schmuck! I hate you. I hate your face. I hate your skull. I hate your groin and your pelvis. And I hate your tibia. Stupid. Bojangle skeleton. Stupid. Oh! No. Ah! Wasn't paying attention. Now, see, look at that. Now my score is zip. And I'm back to level 21. I'll never get that half score again. <sighs> see, 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 that's the problem. That's that's the everlasting problem. If you if you told people there was treasure in a hole, to, tons of money, but there was a monster guarding it, nine times out of ten people go. I'm going to rush in there and grab it. And then and they would get killed. And then they would complain. They'd be like, why? Why couldn't someone just give me the money? And it's like, you know what? Maybe if you, you know, stop being greedy for like five seconds, we wouldn't have this problem. But no. People got to be greedy. People got, I want, I want, I want. Because half of them really want this item. The other half... Just can't tell their kids no. Just can't look at their little 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 bratty child that's screaming for this particular item and tell him, No, little Timmy, you will not have that Xbox One. You have three other game systems you don't even play. You have a PC you don't even play. That was stupid of me. But I want it, Mommy! If you don't get it for me, Mommy, I hate you! And I would look at the child and I would go, fine. I will chuck. I'm just going to keep going for another few minutes. 
I will chuck that child on the street. I don't even care. I have seen too many videos of parents just sitting there letting their child pitch a bloody fit and and like just stand there. And I'm like, I don't care if the law says I can't. I'm going to punch this child in the face. And people will say, well, how about, I thought you said you got upset because you were tired of hearing stories of grandmas punching children to the throat because they got the last item or something. It was like, there's a difference between someone punching a, punching a child in the face because of, you know, they, they had the last item you wanted. Ah, why did I do that? And there's, there's, there's a difference between someone punching a child in the face because they had the last item of something you wanted and punching a child in the face because they're just being bad in public. I am a, I am a firm believer in, in, in corporal punishment. Something they should bring back in schools. Now, don't put the kid in timeout because he decided to draw a penis on a chalkboard. Blister his behind. Blister it. People go, that's child abuse. We, we, hey, when we were younger, we got, we got our, what butts handed to us, and we turned out fine. But that's teaching, if I'm not teaching a child to straighten up, are you going to get cold? Kai! Ooh! Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I saved that one. Okay, come on, move up. Aha! Gotcha! But it just goes around and that's how the, the, the society is working now. I just stood there and let him touch me. I'm gonna try for one more run. But that, that's just how bad society is. It's like we teach kids to be greedy. Instead of being kind, you know, kids see their parents run through a store, beat the other crap out of each other over over cheap items, and so they learn, oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help each other, not beat each other over the head. Cause he got the last two dollar toast up oven because I need it, but. I could rant on and on and on about how stupid Black Friday is. But then I would probably have an hour video to edit. So, I hope you enjoyed this little run of uh, Deep Dungeon. Or Dungeon Steep. But yeah. Until next whatever I do, Big Fatty Plus, Sayonara. If you have to go out on Black Friday, please be careful. If you don't have to, don't. Stay home. If you work it, be careful, be safe, and if you're shopping in it, before you do, here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to walk over to the nearest solid wall, lean your head back, and slam your head into the wall until you knock yourself unconscious. When you wake up, and you can think through your throbbing headache and concussion that you still want to go out and shop in that mess, then do it again until you're bleeding. And then hopefully you'll learn not to go out on Black Friday, you crazy nut!